bad weekend, very typical for this time of year. Dress warm and you'll still be able to enjoy a lot of outdoor activities. Right now, though, we're starting out with a chill thanks to the wind. It's around 10 miles per hour around the state. That alone is putting a wind chill to the temperatures, which they themselves are chilly. Starting out in the low 40s around the city and BWI, mid 40s towards Annapolis. It's in the 30s out towards much of Hartford, Cecil, and even uh, uh, Carroll counties. We are starting out the day, though, with wind chills in the low to mid 30s. So the temperatures are going to feel cooler today just because of that wind. The wind will increase a little bit into the afternoon, maybe up past 15 miles per hour. 41 at 9, 47 at noon, and 50 degrees by 3 p.m. Across the state, we'll see temperatures at least close to 50, a little cooler towards Hagerstown, and much colder in Oakland, only in the low 30s this afternoon. In fact, that's one of the areas that could see a few snow showers overnight. All of that activity mainly staying up with flurries in Pennsylvania. The state looks mostly dry through the weekend. It's really not a bad weekend to get out and enjoy outdoor activities. You get to wear all your fall or and winter gear, put on your hats and gloves and scarves. And take advantage of this because I'm going to show you how much colder it gets by next weekend. We will be mostly dry through Saturday. Sunday looks mostly dry as well until you travel up into western Maryland where a wintry mix could begin in the afternoon and that will be pushing towards Baltimore over Sunday night. We've been talking about this for the past couple of days. Really looks pretty spotty and light at this point, so I'm not really concerned concerned about the Monday morning commute. Just keep an eye on the forecast in case any of those snow showers actually come to be. Now we look into next week as we track the upper air pattern. So it's cool for the next few days, but look at this big mass of really cold air coming right from the Arctic into the end of next week. And so that means at least by next Friday and then maybe into Saturday and Sunday, the highs may only be in the 30s. So maybe that's motivating to get out this weekend instead. Temperatures will be in the 40s over the weekend. There's still a breeze around tomorrow, adding a chill. Clouds increase on Sunday. Though that wintry mix of light rain or snow showers possible Sunday night, they all look pretty spotty. Rain is more likely Tuesday, showers possible Wednesday, and then more rain Thursday until that really cold air pushes in sometime at the end of next week.